and now riding on China's first hydrogen energy shared bike. And beside me is the general manager of its development company, Mr. Shi Tao. You don't need much strength to ride such a bike, as it's built with a motor. But most importantly, it's totally environmental friendly. Inside here is a hydrogen storage tank, which is the same one as this green one in my hand. It releases hydrogen into this power box, which will generate electricity and drive the motor. The whole process is zero emission and zero pollution. As the first of its kind in the Chinese market, developing a hydrogen-powered share bike was not the main hurdle. It's not hard for us to make these types of bike, but we want to make a bike that is acceptable for the market, which means limiting costs without compromising reliability, ease of use, and environmental applicability. This 48-square-kilometer area within Danzhou town Foshan City is called Xianhu Hydrogen Valley. On the streets, you can find hydrogen energy sweeping cars, hydrogen refueling stations, and of course, shared bikes. Right now, more than 40 hydrogen-related organizations are located here, producing hydrogen-related products and conducting scientific research in the field. At present, Xianhu Hydrogen Valley gathers the development of the whole hydrogen energy industry chain. Our goal is to build this place into both a demonstration zone for hydrogen energy and a high-end industrial amalgamation base. During the recent 20 CPC National Congress, Xi Jinping reiterated China's commitment to green development. And judging from the progress made here in Xianhu Hydrogen Valley, the area is a testament to that belief and is committed to helping the world go green through eco-friendly hydrogen energy.